Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics Equations, Friction and Inclined Planes. Here I've drawn an inclined plane, such as a ramp, and the plane, which is inclined, is inclined with respect to theta, with the angle theta, relative to the ground. And I have a mass on top of the plane, on top of the ramp, and it has a mass m, let's say, and Initially, it's not moving, but as soon as I start time, there's going to be three forces acting upon this mass. One, of course, is the gravitational force, which is equal to the mass of the object on the ramp times the gravitational acceleration g. The other is the normal force, which depends on the gravitational force, but also on this angle theta. And finally, I have a friction force because there is assumed to be some friction uh, on top of this ramp, on top of this plane. And that's going to act in the motion opposite to where the mass will uh, flow, where, where the mass will move. So if I want to determine what this friction force is, since that's what this question is about, I have to first write down expressions for the three different forces and use a little bit of trigonometry to determine what this expression is. So I know that the force of gravity is mg. Well, the normal force is going to be equal to the gravitational force in magnitude times cosine of the angle theta because this angle theta here of the plane comes up again right here. And this projection, this magnitude, is the same as this magnitude, just opposite in direction. So Fg, which is this hypotenuse, times cosine of theta gives me the magnitude of the normal force. Therefore, n is equal to mg times cosine theta. Next, I want to examine the friction force. In this case, I'm looking at static friction. And so there is a coefficient of static friction for the friction force. And the friction force is defined then as this coefficient, mu sub s, times the normal force, n. So if I just substitute this expression I just found into the friction force expression, I have a magnitude for the friction force, which is equal to mu s times m times g times cosine of theta. And that would be the magnitude of the friction force. If I wanted to write this in terms of its x and y components, where I have defined x and y as such, then I would simply look at where the mass and the friction force is and recognize that there's the same angle theta. And again, using elementary trigonometry, I would have projections along the y and along the x directions. Thus, I can write the friction force as a vector with the unit vectors i and j for x and y respectively, and I end up with mu s mg cosine squared theta in the x direction or in the horizontal direction, that is along the ground, plus mu s mg cosine theta times sine theta times j hat, which is the unit vector associated with the vertical direction. And the magnitude would just be this, while the full vector in terms of the x and y components would be this expression. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics Equations, Friction and Inclined Planes.